The Akara FP2 Presence Sensor, a magical device that has the power most smart home devices could only dream of. Today, I'm excited to explore the versatility of this device and offer you a chance to win one. If you've been following my channel for long, you already know that I'm a big fanboy of Akara products. From water and vibration sensors to light switches and light strips, Akara makes a range of smart home products to fit every need that you may have. Today, I'm gonna to share with you my four layer model of how I build automations and showcase them using this groundbreaking product. We'll even build some automations with HomeKit and Home Assistant using the FP2. Special thanks to Akara for sponsoring this video and sending over this FP2 for this giveaway. They have some really big news that I'm excited to share later in this video. I have four FP2 presence sensors scattered throughout my home. One in the living room, one in the kitchen, one here in my studio, and one in our bedroom. Typically, I would route my devices straight into HomeKit, but because of the nature of some of my automations, the limitation of HomeKit when creating parameters and automations, and the variety of features built into the FP2, I'm running the devices into Home Assistant and from Home Assistant into HomeKit. This allows me to see my devices in HomeKit, create automations in HomeKit, but also go much deeper in automation when I want to using Home Assistant. You certainly don't have to go this route. If you plan on creating simple automations, you can use HomeKit, Google, Amazon, or if you're trying to automate another Acara device, you can simply just use the Acara app, which is the simplest way to go. I personally am using the Acara app, HomeKit, Home Assistant, and the Home Plus app in my automations. And I wanna talk through my way of thinking when I create an automation and when I would use one over the other. Now my system is based on different layers in my automation. Level one, single if then action using only Acara devices that can be built within the Acara app. Level two, one if then action using non-Acara devices with a parameter such as time that is built into the main app. Level three, an if then action that only runs depending on the state of another device and needs a third party HomeKit app. And our deepest level, level four, nothing can be built within the main apps. I need a more advanced app, which is where Home Assistant comes in. Now look, if this all seems a little confusing, I promise it will end up making more sense as we go along. Now, before I can build the automation, I need to think about how deep I need to go. What do I want the automation to do? And what devices am I automating? Let's look at some examples and start to see this process in action. All right, so let's start by talking about how I use the FP2 to turn on the dining room light using this Acara wall switch. Because I have an Acara switch and I'm using the Acara FP2 sensor, I can easily create this automation right here in the Acara app. I currently have my kitchen presence sensor set up with an area called dining area right here in the Acara app. And when presence is detected in that area, it can flip on the dining area switch. One simple if then statement. So that's level one. And if you're curious, the dining area light only turns off if the main kitchen lights turn off, which is when no presence is detected in the kitchen for five minutes, which is done through home assistant. And that's a level four automation. We'll get to that. All right, so now let's move to layer two of my automation thought process. The next layer is, do I want to have specific parameters like a specific time of day? We can easily create an automation with the time parameter right here in HomeKit. Let's create a simple automation to turn off the living room lights when no presence is detected, but only during a certain time of day. All right, so we're gonna go to automation and add, add automation. We want a sensor to detect something. And we are looking for living room presence. Next, stops detecting occupancy. Time, specific times. I'm just gonna say between 320, because that's what time it is right now. And we'll just say five. And next. So because HomeKit has the time parameter in there, I can easily create the automation here in HomeKit. Now, what devices do we want to control? We want to control all it, we want to control my living room lights, lamp, TV lights, filament bulb. Now my Christmas tree is no longer actually in my living room. So my, that's my old smart plug. So we're not going to do that. Now you can see all LR lights right there. That's actually brought in from Home Assistant and that's a whole nother video. All right, so we'll hit next and I want those to turn off. So you can see here, no occupancy detected in living room from 3.20 p.m. to 5 p.m. Accessories, lamp, TV lights, and filament bulb off. All right, so I'm gonna pull up my occupancy. You can see 
presents, couch, I'm on the couch. So now in theory, when I walk out of the living room, you should see my presence disappear. And if that happens, all these lights should turn off. Let's test it. All right, and there you go. I walked out of the living room, my presence disappeared and the lights went off. So just like that, if I leave the living room during this specific time frame, the lights will turn off immediately. All right, so before we move on to level three, let's pause to talk about the sponsor of this video, Acara. As mentioned before, Acara sells many different types of smart home devices for very affordable prices and has become a mammoth among smart home users, particularly Apple home users for this reason. I'm excited to be partnering with Acara today to share with you that you can now get many of their most popular products at Best Buy. Products like the Acara M2 Hub, the G4 Video Doorbell, the U100 Smart Lock, and many of their smart sensors, including the FP2 Presence Sensor. What better place to grab some of the most reliable smart home products on the market than at Best Buy? So again, special thanks to Acara for sponsoring this giveaway today. Make sure you go check out their offerings at Best Buy. Now back to the video. All right, so we have an automation set up through the Acara app and one set up through a time-based parameter. But what if I only want the automation to run based off the state of another device? Unfortunately, HomeKit still does not have the ability to automate based on the state of other devices. So this takes us to layer three. If I don't have Home Assistant set up, I can typically use a third-party app like Home Plus or Home Controller to do this using HomeKit. It's actually really simple, and this is how I have my living room TV pause when there's no presence detected in the living room during my movie scene. Here's how it works. Now I did this here in the Home Plus app, but like I mentioned, you can use the controller app for HomeKit as well, which is an amazing option and has a ton of its own features. So when I build an automation that is based on other devices, a little trick that I learned is if I set the devices that I'm using to run the automation to the state that I want them in when the automation runs, it makes building the automation much easier. Here's what I mean. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and set my movie scene because that's when I want this automation to run. You can see here, this light turned purple and got dim and all my windows and blinds are closing. All right, so let's go to the Home Plus app and I'm gonna go to automation. I think I already have this in here. Yep, so occupancy and living room. So let's, let's start this over from scratch. So I'm gonna hit plus, I'm gonna hit Let's name this presence in living room changes to none movie mode. TV pause. All right, so I wanna add an event. So my event is gonna be accessory state. We're gonna say living room Presence, occupancy detected, changes to no. And here's where the magic happens in the Home Plus app. Add condition, accessory state. I'm just gonna search for that lamp, it's literally called lamp here in my living room, that's this one. And that one, and the reason I'm doing that is because that's the only time I have that lamp set to that color. So I know that when that lamp is that color, I'm in movie mode. So we're gonna say hue is equal to 270 degrees. Because I have it in movie mode, it automatically pulls in the current state of the lamp at 270 degrees. So we can't actually add the Apple TV here in the Home Plus app. So we're gonna save this. We wanna make sure it's green. No uh, presence in living room. And you see a question mark there. Now we're gonna go back to our home app and we're gonna find that automation. Quick tip, you can find an automation on a device by going to that device. All right, presence in living room changes to none, movie mode TV, pause. Now we need to select our Apple TV in our living room. TV, done. We want it to pause. Done. And now, if I leave my living room while my movie mode is set and my TV is playing, it'll actually pause. So let's put something on the TV. All right, so let's test it. I'm in the living room right now and now I'm not. And there it is. 
it paused automatically when I left the living room. Now I can also set up an automation that says if movie mode and I enter the living room, play. It's a simple automation that just needs a little help with the parameters, but can be very nice to have. All right, let's go back a bit. Remember when I said my dining room lights only turn off once the kitchen lights turn off, which is when there's been no presence in the kitchen area for five minutes? Well, we already know that we can't run an automation based off of the state of another device in HomeKit alone, but now we're also adding the complexity of after a certain amount of time as well. Welcome to layer four. This is where Home Assistant comes in. All right, let me pause here. If you've never heard of Home Assistant before, I won't spend a ton of time going into depth here, but I will drop a link in the description for you to explore it more deeply. Essentially, it's a home automation slash smart home platform that allows you to get just about any brand of smart home device into the same system. Create your own dashboards, and as we're talking about here, create really deep automation and integration to allow you to automate based on just about as many parameters as your imagination will allow. I've added most of my devices into Home Assistant and then added them into HomeKit using the HomeKit Bridge plugin. Therefore, I have my kitchen presence sensor and all of its areas imported to Home Assistant from my Acara app. If it would be helpful for you to see how I've set all this up from start to finish, drop a comment and I can do an in-depth video on the process. In this video though, I'll keep it simple and just show what I've done to get this automation working. But just understand, Home Assistant is a beast and therefore it can do a lot, but it can also be a huge time consumer when you're learning it. All right, so if we go into Home Assistant, you'll see that I've created an automation that says when kitchen area presence changes from detected to clear and here's where the magic happens for five minutes. That wait time alone would do wonders for most presence based light automations. However, I don't want all of our kitchen lights turning off while we're sitting here eating dinner. So I added some conditions as well. Under and if we want to confirm that the dining room FP2 is clear. So that's what this is doing entity dining room FP2. That is simply my area from the Acara app brought into Home Assistant from when I set that up. And then state is clear. And then of course you have my babysitter mode is off, but that's a whole nother video. All right, so then we go into what we want to happen once all this is confirmed. Under then do, I have a call service, which is just one way Home Assistant can perform an action. So call service, light, turn off. And my target is my kitchen area, which is an area I've configured inside Home Assistant that includes all of my kitchen lights. So in short, the automation checks my kitchen area for presence. If no presence, it'll start counting down to five minutes. Then it will check that there is no presence in the dining room. And if the kitchen has been clear for five minutes, it will turn off all those lights. It's a very complex method of accomplishing a pretty simple task, but this is the literal instance I purchased my first FP2 to use, and it's a necessity in my home. Now, separately, I also have an automation in HomeKit that says if the kitchen lights turn off, turn off dining room lights. So if I hit the light switch to turn off the kitchen lights, it will also turn off the dining room lights. Going a level deeper, I have another automation that turns off the kitchen lights immediately without waiting if my relax scene is on, which I've used the brightness and temperature of my hue lights to define similar to how we did with the movie scene. So as you can see, there's a ton of consideration when it comes to building automations, and it's completely up to you how deep you can go. And the FP2 has so many capabilities, we barely scratch the surface. I didn't even mention the built-in light sensor, which can read the lux of the room and automate things based on that, as well as the sleep monitor feature, which has the ability to monitor your heartbeat and motion while you sleep. It's the most versatile sensor on the market, and that's why I use it in so many of my automations. And that's also why I'm excited to say I'm teaming up with Acara to give you a chance to win an FP2 for yourself. I will be giving this Acara FP2 presence sensor away to one lucky winner who is subscribed to my channel as well as Acara's YouTube channel. Simply drop a comment below with how you plan to use the Acara FP2 to enter, and I'll pick one winner who blows me away with their idea. Now all of the details, including the link to Akara's YouTube channel are down in the description of this video. So make sure you pop down there and check it out. Again, special thank you to Akara for sponsoring this giveaway and make sure you head over to Best Buy to grab your next Akara products. 
Hey, before you go, here are a couple videos I think you will enjoy from my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.